All right, everybody, welcome back. In this final segment on this series of creating filters and labels, I wanna go over a few other very important things to know about. So, so far, we've left off where we created a filter called Fox News, as well as another one called USA Today, and we can see them over here to the left on our label list area. One of the things I did earlier while I was messing around is I had this email here from Fox News selected and I applied the USA Today label. Let me go ahead and remove that USA Today label for just a moment. By the way, any action that you take place, that you perform, excuse me, Google will display what that action was and ask you if you want to undo that action from up here. So one of the things I want to do first is to show you how to edit a filter or a label. To do so, I'm going to go ahead and click on this icon of this gear over here to the top right, and I'll click on settings like we've done in the past. And here we have a bunch of tabs. And what I'll do is I'll click on the filters and blocked addresses tab from here. When I do this, I see a list of all the filters we've created. And by the way, notice that these filters actually tell you what they're supposed to do. In this case, from Fox News, we have matches from this email address and do this, which is apply the label Fox News and never send it to spam. So one of the things I want to do first is on this new label that we created, new filter, excuse me, for USA Today, I want to come over here and I want to click on the edit link. And by the way, while I'm here, you can also delete a filter as well by clicking on this link. Let's go ahead and edit this filter. When I do that, we're presented with the first step of the two-step process when creating filters. Here, since we're not going to touch anything, we'll simply click on the continue link. And one of the things I want to do differently here is to make sure that I deselect skip from inbox. We're still going to apply the label USA Today. And I also want to click on also apply filter to matching conversations below. Next, I'll click on the update filter button. Now, when I've done that, you can see that this filter has changed. No longer are we skipping the inbox for this filter. Let's go back to our inbox for just a moment. So we've basically said that from this moment forward, if any emails from USA Today show up, that we do want them to appear in our inbox. If I come over here to our list of labels and click on USA Today, and again, this is my way of saying, please show me all emails that have the label, the sticky note of USA Today. Well, we notice this email, for example, this one from the top here, look at the time. It's from 11.33 a.m. So if I click back on the inbox, why isn't that email showing up here? And that's because all those emails were already skipped. In other words, we told it previously to skip the inbox. So now what we need to do is to move all those emails. And I don't like the word move because it implies something different. But what I do want them to do is to show up on our inbox. So the way I'll accomplish that is to click on the label titled USA Today which basically shows us all emails that have that label. Then I'll click on this checkbox up here. This is called the select all set or select none checkbox. And since I have this account set up to only show 50 emails or 50 conversations per page, I'm only selecting these first 50 emails. So I could take an action from here and then click on this arrow over here to go to the next 50, or I could select this link that says select all 279 conversations in USA Today. I'll go ahead and do that. And now all those emails are selected, ready to perform an action. The next thing I'll do is I'll click over here to this button, which is the move to button, and I'm gonna select inbox. Then I get this warning asking me to confirm that I wanna do a bulk action and to do this to the 279 conversations with the label of USA Today. So I'm gonna click OK to continue. Now when we click back to our inbox, we should see those emails from USA Today. Now notice that action that I just performed in no way affects the label. Those emails still have the label of USA Today. And here's the one from 1133 this morning. It's the second one. These labels over here to the left still work in that if I click on the USA Today label, all I'm doing is saying, please show me all emails with that label. If I click on Fox News, same thing. 
So let's go back to the inbox for a moment. The next thing I want to show you is how to edit labels. So there's two, actually three ways of doing this. The first is by clicking on the icon of the gear again and going back to settings. But this time I'm going to go ahead and click on this tab up here called labels. And what we see here are a few different sections. The first section is titled system labels. The next one is categories. And these are basically the same thing as index tabs that we discussed in another video. And down here, we have any custom or labels, any labels that we've created. And sure enough, we see the two labels titled Fox News and USA Today. If I wanted to create a new label, I simply click on this button titled Create New Label. As a matter of fact, while I'm here, let me go ahead and create a new label called Astrology. We'll use that in a little bit. For now, I'll click on the Create button, and now you can see that that label now appears here in our list of custom labels, and they're listed alphabetical. If you wanted to rename a label, there's two ways to do it. One, you can have your mouse over a particular label, in this case, USA Today, and I can give it another name, maybe call it USA T, emails, or I could click on this edit link over here to the far right and rename it that way as well. For right now, I'll just go ahead and do it this way. I'll press enter, and that label has been renamed to USA T emails. By the way, while we're here on this labels setting, settings page, if you haven't already done this, what I want you to do is to sign into your account, go to the gear, click on settings, and then click on this labels settings tab. Over here to the left where we see our list of labels, what I want you to do is click on the show link. You'll see a show and hide for any system, labels, categories, index tabs, or custom labels. What I want you to do is to click on the show link for all mail, and by the way, if I do that, watch in that it appears up here. The other way to access your spam and your full and your in your trash, excuse me, is to come over here to the left and to literally hover my mouse over more so I can get to spam and trash. A much easier way to do that would be to show these labels predominantly by clicking on the show link. So I want you to click on the show link for all mail, spam, and trash so that they appear nicely over here and that they're easy to get to. For now, I'll click back to my inbox. And another way to customize your labels is to click on the checkbox for a label. In this case, I'll click on this email here from the New York Times. We now see these button appears at the top. I'll click on the label button. And down here, we have the ability to create a new label or to manage labels. And by the way, if I click on manage labels, what do you think is going to happen? Sure enough, I'm taken back to the label settings page, which is equal to clicking on the gear, clicking on settings, and then clicking on this tab. Also, if you haven't already seen this, um, if I scroll down to these custom labels that we created, I can also elect to remove these labels, which is the same thing as throwing those sticky notes away. So let's go ahead and go back to our inbox for another moment and I'll deselect this email from the New York Times. The next thing I'd like to talk to you about is the all mail label. Clicking on all mail over here to the left is your way of saying, I don't care what label an email has, I wanna see all emails. In other words, show me all emails regardless of the label that's been assigned to that email. And sure enough, we can see all our emails. And this includes all emails except for any emails that are in your trash or that have been assigned as spam. Where that comes in really handy is if you're very organized and if you go to your inbox and there are no emails here other than emails that you have yet to categorize. So a lot of people keep their inbox literally empty. And as an email comes in, they simply apply a label to it and then they'll archive that email basically saying skip the inbox, make it invisible to the inbox. And if they ever wanna to get to any of their emails, they simply come over here to the left, click on a particular label and see all those emails with that label. So all mail for those people who like to stay organized that way, again, all mail is just basically saying, show me all mail again, regardless of the label. The last thing I wanna show you or talk to you about when it comes to filters and labels is actually something that's very, very powerful. So follow along. What I'm gonna do now is scroll down to the bottom of our inbox, and we have a bunch of emails here from astrology.com. 
They start here. And by the way, if you click on the checkbox for an email, here's another nice little tip or trick. You could go ahead and scroll down, say six or seven emails, hold the shift key, then click on the next checkbox and it selects only those emails in between the first one you selected and the last one. To deselect just one or another, you can simply click on those checkboxes individually. So again, once you have some emails selected and you want to unselect them rather than clicking four times in this case, I can come over here to this select all, select none checkbox feature. And if I click on the down arrow, I can choose none, in which case it'll deselect all emails. If I select just a few, you notice that in this checkbox, we have a minus sign or a dash. If we select all, we get a check in that checkbox. So as soon as we deselect one, we know that that's a page that has partially selected emails. If I want to deselect all the emails, I simply click on this checkbox one more time and it deselects them. So you can basically, it's like light switch, turning them on or off, select all, select none. So what I want to show you is kind of neat. This is actually a very powerful feature of the filter process. So here you can see I have a bunch of emails from astrology.com. And if I hover my mouse over this first email, you notice that the email address says Chinese Daily Horoscope at astrology.com. Let's go ahead and create a filter for that email like we've done before. So I'll select that email, go to the more button, click on filter messages like these. I'll leave that email address alone, then click create filter with this search. I'll apply the label since we already created a label called astrology. I'll select that label, never send them to spam and apply the filter to however matching conversations. I'll click on the create filter button. Then what I'll do is I'll come over here to the label. I'll click on the down arrow and choose a color of green so we can easily see those emails. Next, I'll click on the inbox. And as you can see, that email has the label astrology, but why not these other emails? There's a bunch of other emails from astrology.com. If I hover my mouse over this other email, we'll notice that the email address is different. It says momscopes at rp.astrology.com. This one here says daily dream at rp.astrology.com. So these guys at astrology.com are using tons of different email addresses for whatever reason. But more than likely, it's because they're doing it because they know that people use filters and it's difficult to create many, many, many filters for each one of their email addresses. So because you're using Gmail, Google has you covered. So watch. What I'm going to do next is very powerful. I'm going to go to the gear. I'm going to click on settings. I'm going to click on filters and blot addresses. And these are all the different filters we've created thus far. Here's the last one from astrology.com. What I'm going to do next is click on the edit link to the right and we're taken back to this page. It's the first step of the process when we created the filter. So what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to click and position my cursor right after that at symbol or right before astrology.com and simply delete anything else preceding it. So what I'm saying here in a sense is I don't care what email address it is. I don't care if it's from newsletters at astrology.com, momscopes at astrology.com, Chinese, whatever. It doesn't matter. If it comes from this domain name, if it comes from astrology.com, then this filter should apply. So let's go ahead and click continue. Again, we're going to have it automatically apply the label astrology, never send it to spam, but we're going to also apply the filter to any other emails that have already arrived. Then I'll click on update filter. Then we'll click back on our inbox. And sure enough, if we scroll down, all those emails, regardless of what email address it is from astrology.com now have the assigned astrology label. That is pretty powerful. Now, what if I decided that I don't want any of these astrology.com emails 
to actually be in my inbox anymore. I don't want them to show up in my inbox. Again, there's a couple ways to do it. You could go ahead and modify the filter and choose skip the inbox and then apply that filter, which means that all of these emails from astrology.com would disappear in a sense from your inbox. Another way to do it would be to come over here to the label itself, select all these emails, select all 949 conversations. In other words, select all emails that have this label rather than going to next page, next page, next page. Then clicking on this more button, then choosing archive. Now archiving is your way of basically saying, make them invisible to the inbox. I'll go ahead and select OK. And this is probably going to take a while because it's got to process 949 emails and sure enough, it's done. So you'll notice that when I click on the Fox News label over here to the left hand side, for example, that all these emails have a label called inbox. So in a sense, even your inbox has a label. However, if I click on the astrology label, we just told Gmail to archive all those emails. So no longer does it have the inbox label which means that now if I go back to my inbox and if I scroll down, all those emails from astrology.com are now gone. In other words, they're no longer showing up in my inbox. To get them back, we just basically do the opposite, which I've showed you earlier. I'll click on the label titled astrology. I'll click on this select all checkbox at the top. I'll select all 999, 949 conversations. Then I'll click on this icon here, the move to icon, choose inbox and click OK. Now you can see that all of these emails have the label of inbox. If I go back to my inbox again and we scroll down, sure enough, they're now appearing. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed and learned a lot from this series on understanding and using filters and labels.